Hey everybody, so I am finally doing this nail tutorial. I really apologize for not doing this earlier than I was supposed to. That's why I was definitely um, saying in my videos, I apologize. I know because this has been requested, highly requested by some of my subscribers. And I really felt very, very bad. I was doing other videos, but... This is like a nail tutorial. I never did a nail tutorial before. So please be kind, you know, when you're watching this because I have never done this before. I've showed a nail video about my nail care, but I've never done a nail tutorial. Now with this tutorial, I'm just going to do one fingernail, which is this ring finger because I am about to do my nails tonight so I'm just going to do this ring finger and then I will show you pictures at the end I recorded this before but I showed the wrong color by mistake and I was so mad because I recorded this last week but I showed the wrong color by mistake so hopefully I show the right color this time and you know if not then I'll definitely insert a clip and then edit it like that but just please, please bear with me. Um, the lighting may not be up to par or like other nail tutorials. It might be a little dark. I have to probably get another lamp or try to do something else because I do not know how to, um, you know, do the lighting for, you know, the nails. So I definitely will do that. So please, I apologize for that. And as far as my nails, um, my nails... They may appear like the, I don't know if it looks yellow, but they're not. It's just the lighting. The lighting is very, very bad right now. It's not working for me. Um, I mean, it's okay, I guess. But anyway, I don't want to keep talking. But basically, this is a nail tutorial of the ombre um, design that I have done. And you guys have seen on my Zoya nail polish haul. Not the recent one, but the other Zoya nail polish haul. And I will definitely link that at the bottom so you guys could go check that out. So this is my first nail tutorial. Once again, please be kind. So, um, firstly, I'm going to tell you the colors that I'm using and, um, what do I use as a base coat and things of that nature. And then I'm going to get into the nail um the nail tutorial itself okay so i don't want to make this video as long as it's supposed to be i will definitely tell you what i am doing um what i have done to my nails first off i have clear nail polish on my nails and um for the sake of this video i only put um on the ring finger i only put this gar as garlic um la girl garlic i don't think you guys can see that is LA Girl Garlic is Odorless Garlic and I put this I sometimes I put this on my nails sometimes but for the sake of this video I just put this on my ring finger okay so that's what I use sometimes it depends or I use a calcium um, nail builder that thick thick healthy nails I have it over there my um nail collection that I showed before one time in one of my videos I, I believe and then I use the um, the oily nail bonder. This is supposed to grip the nail liqueur and keep your nails from chipping or, you know, chipping faster than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to keep your nails, um, you know, up until two weeks. But, um, yeah, my nails don't stay long for two weeks. Probably the longest my nails have stayed for was probably like... Uh, probably a week or five days or something like that, but it depends on what I'm doing and things of that nature. So, um, that's basically what the base coats. So, on my other nails, I have the iron strength on there because my nails are doing some peeling. So, I'm going back to this. I've used this a while back and it helped my nails. So, I'm definitely going to use this. So, I use this on my nails. I use this first and then I use the oily on top. So, but for the sake of this video, the garlic one is only on the ring finger. And when this video is over, I will take that off and put the appropriate um, base coats on. Okay, so, got that out the way. Now, I will show you the colors that I will be using and the top coats that you can use or what have you. So, the first color that I will be using is Zoya. Um, it's by Zoya. It's called Carrie. Now... You do not have to use these colors. I mean, um, yeah, you don't have to use these colors, and you do not have to use these brands. You can use any kind of brand. If you want to get this ombre effect with these similar colors, you definitely have to get the similarity of the colors, but it does not have to be the brands that I am showing you. Definitely does not. And you can also do ombre. I know you guys know what other colors, but to get this effect, these are the kind of colors that you need. Um, I have the Zoya Snow White that I used. 
and I have the, um, this is called the China Glaze Liquid Leather, okay? Um, no, black, I think, yeah, liquid leather, I'm sorry. Okay, and then I use the China Glaze Fairy Dust, okay? So, those are the colors that I'm going to use. Now, you have to make sure that your nails, I forgot to mention in the beginning, are clean with um, some re um, nail polish remover. does not have to be this nail polish remover, but I love this so much. It takes off my nail polish very, very fast. I don't have to sit here and wait for it to come off for ages. And this is pretty good. It is not harmful to the nails. But, and it's not acetone, and if you, you know, if your nails, I prefer you do non-acetone because, so your nails will not be drying, but a lot of people like to use non-acetone, I mean, like to use acetone nails, I'm sorry, an acetone um, nail polish remover because that's what they do. So, if you want to do that, that's fine, but for me, I do non-acetone. Now, I'm going to show you the pure acetone here. Um, I use this um, to clean up, that's clean up time, and this, I use pure acetone or acetone and this is clean up time when it's time to clean around the edges around the cuticles to make your nails look neater instead of just leaving the stuff there so that's the only time I use that um pure acetone and right after that I put on some type of moisturize or cuticle butter or something like that so my nails my cuticles will not be dry by doing by using the pure acetone by removing the excess nail polish so and this is my beat up brush right here and this is what I use to remove the nail art along the sides of the nails just like this is at an angle so it was easier for me to take off the excess nail polish that has been left over if I messed up really bad or even if I messed up and I went over the cuticles because I really don't like to put the nail polish right on the cuticles I like to leave a little bit of a space to make it look a little bit neater okay so that's just my preference and I look at other youtubers that um, do nail tutorials and nails and things of that nature and I like the way they do it so I took heed to that okay so now the top coats that you probably would like to use, this is Sally Hansen, um, the strengthening top coat. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I use Send, and you guys can see I use a lot of it. I haven't used it in a while, though. And this is most of the time I use the Diamond Flash by Sally Hansen. You guys know I love Sally Hansen. So those are the top coats I put on, you know, after I'm done with my nails, nail art, or what have you, to give it a nice finish and to protect the nail color and to seal in the color as well so um like i said before i'm only going to do one nail which is the ring finger and i will show you pictures at the end of how all my nails looked and then that's basically it and oh also this is the sponge this is a, it's a makeup sponge that i use and um i will definitely you will probably see me cut this with a scissors you don't necessarily have to but i do it because you know just to save you know makeup you know sponges because i don't want to you know use the whole thing and you know i have to run out and buy some more because i do a lot with these sponges and it's pretty cool to do the ombre i love the ombre effect so um i like to cut this in half so i can save and to just keep you know going out to buy some more and that's basically it and with the makeup um sponges you do not have to buy any expensive you can get these from cvs walmart or what have you it does not have to be a name or anything and that's basically it so you know don't have to get fancy with that um and that's it so i don't want to keep talking you guys i talked for eight minutes right now so the rest of the video i'm just going to show you what i do you know what i'm going to put on my nails and i'm going to start out with the liquid leather by china glaze and then i will proceed on putting the colors on to the sponge and show you how i get the ombre effect put the finishing touches and everything and that's basically it so you guys please bear with me i know i'm going to make some mistakes and i probably be a little bit nervous, but, you know, this is my first nail tutorial, and I hope I do pretty well. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask and leave it at the bottom below, and or you can send me an inbox, and I will definitely, definitely get back to you. And just give me your feedback and let me know how you like this first nail tutorial, and if you would like to see more nail tutorials. And if so, please thumbs up or comment below, send me an inbox, or what have you, okay? All right, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day, blessed night, whenever you're watching this. Please enjoy. Okay.